welcome back to another little snippet about something exciting that Mr. Bob Cook's got coming up, and that's the Manchester Supervision Conference, which is going to be happening on Saturday, the 27th of April. Yes, it is. It's a one-day conference, and it's for anybody interested in the area of clinical supervision, you know, therapy supervision, counselling supervision, and also for supervisees who go to supervision, of course, um, because we've got workshops, that, you know, which are useful for them, and also uh, will enhance their whole knowledge and growth in the area of supervision. It's our second annual supervision uh, conference. I had one last year, one day, uh, and it was so successful, people asked me to put another one on. So this is our the one they asked for, uh, 27th yeah. of April at the Life Centre, I think, in Sale, Manchester, UK. Um, there's workshops in the morning, workshops off the afternoon. Um, I think it's 9 a.m. to 4.30. And it's got a fantastic, they do a fantastic lunch there. So the um, whatever the cost of the, you know, the whole day is, you get a really good lunch in there as well. Yeah. And the major keynote speaker is a well-known psychotherapist, supervisor and trainer around this area. And his name is Robin Hobbs, um, teaching, supervising, transactional analyst. He has a great passion in supervision, so I asked him along. And the uh, title of the whole day is Past, Present and Future. So uh, in the supervisionary world, of course. So he'll be doing a keynote speaker a speech. I'm not sure what the content is but i suspect he'll be looking at the whole arch of supervision past present and future and then there's workshops in the morning and in the afternoon yeah about the same themes yes yeah and uh, they're well-known supervisors in their own rights who are running these workshops it's a really wonderful place to go for networking meet meeting you know meeting uh people in the whole world of supervision because supervision therapy supervision uh, can often be quite an isolating yes because you know you're locked away in a room you don't meet often don't meet other supervisors and things like that yeah yeah so it's good for networking meeting people feeling inspired and uh, supervisee is also interested in supervision in general it's a good place to go to not only meet new supervisors and other supervisors and talk about the world of supervision so it's a very inspiring day and as i said wonderful for networking and meeting colleagues yeah and the website www dot um supervision conferences or one word supervision conferences dot co dot uk Fantastic. And that's at the Life Centre, which is 235 Washway Road in Sale, it says, evidently. Yeah, it's not far from uh, well, the city centre of Manchester, but it's a lovely venue. Um, a lot of conferences are held, held there and they do wonderful meals. And uh, you can have vegan and vegetarian meat dishes and things like that. And you, and you go to this website and you choose your workshops. Um, and you can browse the workshop and the people as well. But what, what I found from last year, people really liked meeting colleagues and fellow supervisors and Absolutely. learning yeah. about the world of supervision. Yeah, I'm just looking on the, the website now at some of the, the people that you've got. Amazing yeah. people. Ian Tomlinson, um, yeah. Julia Tolley, yeah. trauma in supervision. Yeah. Um, who else have we got? Um, Sylvia Jolly Fit, is it? Is that yeah, how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's morning and afternoon workshops that you can go on. Yeah, so see you there. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for talking about it, yeah, Bob. Thanks for giving me that time. <laughs>